Screen readers are an assistive technology software that assists users with a variety of disabilities to access the computer through a keyboard. And so um, these individuals use a keyboard to access the like shortcut keys to access the information on the screen, which then it reads out loud to them what's on the screen. So when someone using a screen reader stumbles upon a web page that has a bunch of click here or more here or this, or just kind of ambiguous language that you know doesn't really tell you what you're clicking, um, that's problematic because you don't know where you're going. Um, and so some the, one of the shortcut keys uh, for screen readers is the ability to navigate links. Just like how um, people who can see navigate newspapers by just looking and seeing, oh, I don't want to read this article, I don't want to read this article, oh, but I like this article. That's kind of how screen readers navigate headings and links. And so if someone wants to just quickly find something, um, they might click the link shortcut key, which if they're all a bunch of click here, it doesn't mean anything. And so obviously, you know, there are uh, websites that say, you know, for more information on this topic, click here. But a screen reader user would have to go through the entire website to get to that text if it's not, you know, structured properly. And so in order to reduce that kind of exploration, and you know, you and I can easily just pick what we want um, and to enable that kind of equal access to that information, it's best practice to have something more descriptive. Like when you're, instead, if, if the link is Google, um, instead of click here, just do Google and it provides uh, some kind of context to uh, what the person will be clicking on. Additionally, um, if you just provide the URL uh, with like an HTTP colon slash slash www, that is how the screen reader is gonna read it out loud, which can be really annoying, um, first of all, to listen to a really long hyperlink. Um, and also, again, doesn't really provide context unless it's www.google.com or something. Um, and so, you know, just, just avoid long hyperlinks uh, and avoid uh, ambiguous hyperlinks like click here. Uh, something else, you know, if, if you're going to print out the document or the page or something like that for your students or your peers, uh, you know, it, it would be good to provide both. Uh, because obviously, if, if you have a link and it says Google or if it says click here, people who are just using the print document aren't going to know where that link, they can't type it in. And so there's pluses and minuses to, um, uh, to providing a meaningful hyperlink. Most of them are pluses. It just depends on the medium. So if it's going to be online only, it's best to be very clear about the context and if you're going to print it out then you might want to include the longer hyperlink so that people can actually type it.